Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. We are deep in trouble as usual, and I like to keep saying that phrase. We have XCOM here, as you can see. And we're assaulting this alien submarine that we shot down previously, attempting to slightly recover from some score penalties we took from failing a terror mission, but mainly just to, to keep those research hours going. Really the game is now a race between us and the alien menace. Our job is to not die while the scientists keep working away on the ultimate threat and the ultimate submarine to beat the ultimate threat. As that makes sense. That's why eventually we'll have the the Leviathan. I, keep, I almost said Avenger, but this time, the Leviathan. Embrace it. It's going to be ours. Let's see if we could say hello. Hello. I wonder what we can actually really do with this person. Usually, we'll do the Jolly thing. Of course, Tooth and Claw isn't quite the same level of awesome as Jolly. Jolly, you know, taking... Let's face it, he took, like, six bio drone shots to the face and still survived. Yep, Tooth and Claw, not quite as awesome as, as um, Jolly. But oh well. Okay. Let's see what happens when we end turn. Wonder if it'll be friendly. Runs away. Think stands around. It's all confused. Well, let me help it in its confusion. You're there, aren't you? Yes, you are. Well, we've got a good friend over here called Horse TCM. He can't turn, can he? He can't turn. Yay! Go, Horse TCM too. May you be forever remembered as the person who forgot to turn. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you. Throw your gun away, Mr. Gilman Soldier. Stand over here. That's good. Actually, I should have told you to stand over there so he could have shot you. But now you're in a place where we can actually reach you in the future. Anything down there? Nope. Cool. We're, we're good. We're good. Okay, horse DCM, you got your moment of glory now. Aim shot. Oh, dump your dump your flare. Crouch. Aim shot to the face. There you go, execution style. Make your mother proud. Um, absolutely, I'm sure all mothers would be proud of that sort of behaviour, especially when it comes to defending Earth. And that was the final alien. So good on to Horse TCM2 for an execution style victory. Hey, we've got an okay rating. It's good. Offsets the penalty slightly. Horse TCM, because of the execution kills he's performed. He's basically been an executioner, you know, he's just shot people in the back. Um, he's now an ensign, which is always an exciting thing to be. I'm sure he's appreciating the, the role of being an ensign. And now we have some new flesh to join us. And what more should be the names of these new flesh? Well, I'm glad you asked. We shall now make some changes. The first change will be... Well, I was going to rename the King of Rome. Oh, here he is, yes. The King of Rome shall be renamed back to the first King of Rome. The reason why is because he actually technically didn't die um, in the past. His past incarnation was merely left abandoned, surrounded by enemies. Um, with f fatal wounds and about to die, but they didn't necessarily die. Maybe he's just survived, you know, ate the enemies and used their strange fluids to sustain himself. It's all quite possible, really. So he's back in action as his original self. And he's, that's a change because of all the things he ate. Anyway, we have some new people we can add to the list. People who are trying to reincarnate themselves I will put you, I've currently put you at the end of the list for the reason that enough is enough, you know? <laughs> um, but rest assured that you'll be got to soon enough. So the first person over here is Astra Minsky. Astra Minsky shall be known by a new name. The name shall be The Battle Clam. Because it's always good to have a clam on your side in the heat of battle. We then have another woman. This woman shall be known as the Underwater Cow. Um, 
more of the Sinestra suggestions by Tsunami Dolson 1. Some of them very, very peculiar, but we've actually finally run out. We took us months to get through them all, but we have. Here at XCOM, we can defeat any number of names. We now have a new subscriber who's joined us. He was going to originally be known as Sir Prisnik because he thought himself was a knight. Oh, I meant to be spelt like that, I think. It's strange. Strange foreign languages. That's it. Yes. But, even though he fancies himself a knight, he's not really a knight yet, so he doesn't want to be known as that. Um, but he does have knight um, fancies. He does wish to be equipped with a, a heavy thermic lance when he becomes on active duty, because he's a knight. He wants a lance, you know, but not quite. Anyway, let us not let's not hold that against him. So we have Preznek. Um, Prezekinek. Prezekinek. That's your name. Or Pre... Pre... Prezekinek. Yes. I am good at pronouncing foreign names. Uh, not really. And this shall be known as... Two Spider 2002. Because one Spider 1001 died. So now we have this one. And Stuart Seven, you are to be known as the Return of Miora. Dun da da da! Watch out, he's back. But of course, we have our current squad. How's the manufacturer going? They've got some time left before they can complete. We'll get them on some iron armor shortly. So it's time to check the graphs. Alien activity in the zones. There's virtually no activity in any of these zones apart from the Egyptian cartel and the USA. Hmm. Scandinavia, maybe? No. Near Japan, no. Australasia, no. Federated Korea, no. Eurasia, no. Icelandic Union. Really, the only place I can see any alien activity occurring is a bit in the USA and a bit in the Egyptian cartel. Egyptian cartel being here in Egypt. So it's sort of basically a Mediterranean sort of area. So we'll get the Triton out there. Hoping and praying that we don't get an artifact site happening at the same time. That was ridiculous. Better be a bit more of a base hunt. It's good for the soul. We've found the base. Isn't that nice? Let's return to base and make sure our squad is actually ready for such a confrontation. Good, good detection though, we've got it like straight away. Alien Colony 15, you're our next target. Apparently a bit of the USA as well, that's certainly one up here. That's good. Okay, manufacture. It's time to start producing iron armor. Because we don't want to do anything stupid. And this includes attacking an alien colony without any armor. I'd consider this to be a foolish action. I'm sure many would agree. And we don't want to do anything foolish here at XCOM. How long is our good friend Jolly going to be wounded for? More than a month. That's going to take him ages to get back on top of his feet. And we're not happy with that. I mean, the strength of 88 is his molecular control skill. And that's fine, that's dandy, but unfortunately it's not good enough. We're going to have to rely on Tooth and Claw, unfortunately. And Queen of Hearts, a tragic controller that she is, or he is, because it's a bit of a transvestite king, queen. Um, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Strength seems to have had a bit of improvement. Um, actually, that's a good question. How is Dark Flagrance 2 going? His the bravery has doubled. Be brave, Dark Flagrance 2. Hold fast to your heart and be good. And Horse TCM, a bit of health, a bit of strength, but not really that much. He's only made two kills. May you make more kills in the future. Okay. Risk taker. Risk taker survived a mission. That's good. Okay, well, there's really nothing for it apart from just to attack the alien colony. There's nothing more we can really do. So what we'll do is we'll equip the submarine. And when we come back, we will have um, a base mission in progress.